This decision by the board of directors of Port Adelaide is obviously the most significant move made by the club in its 120 year history. Bruce Weber came around on the Sunday at home. I was living at West Lakes at that stage. And he said, look, I thought I'd let you know we've made a bid to get into the AFL. It'll be in the paper tomorrow. So as a coach and our players, that's the first we'd heard of it. We were in astonishment. It was just incredible. And gee whiz, is it right? Is it wrong? Didn't know. And it was just amazing. And then off it went from there, of course, all the furor starts happening and you are witnessing that all play out. I thought our, our board were incredibly strong uh, at the time to, to take, talk about pressure, you know, they had a, a lot of pressure on them and I thought they were incredibly strong, the club was strong and it kept by its task of going, no, we're going we're gonna to make the, uh, the bid for the AFL. This league will not support the Port Adelaide Football Club in any way in its bid to enter a team in the Australian So we can't stop things now, they, they will go ahead. You know, once we tried to get in the AFL, the whole world turned upside down, you know, and football was never the same since then. It's understood one option is to ban the club from playing in the SANFL. Then a silent and flushed magpie group emerged. We're going to have a very, very sad situation here in South Australian football. Port Adelaide crowd, gee, given KG no sort of serve, he's got a police escort. Well, this is quite silly. I, I can remember walking into town and, and blokes, you know, cheap shot you from behind and saying, you know, you're kidding yourselves and, you know, there's no way you're AFL and things like that. I had a sports store back then at West Lakes. So I was actually at the front and people would come and talk to me about it and put the pressure on and say, what are you guys doing, you dirty mongrels? So I could feel it was really us against the world. And we, we really hated Port Adelaide. Not, not so much the players or Jack, but we hated the club for what they'd done to South Australia, how they just turned it upside down. So as a playing group, it then became us versus the rest of the world. Perfect scenario. Fantastic. We love that here at Alberton. Back at the scene of today's showdown, the bird's eye view was spectacular. The massive supporters here are gearing themselves for a titanic football match, inspired even more so by the two clubs off-field battle in the courtrooms. And I hope there's no uh, fights or anything like that. I hope they play football. I never, I never said anything to anybody, uh, but I, I actually had a death threat, you know, prior to that, uh, that game. Um, so it was sort of like building up, and it, like I said, it just kept giving us more strength in, in our purpose, what we wanted to do. So it definitely was there, but it wasn't just, you know, the opposition we were playing that day. I, I felt it was like the rest of the state. If you weren't Port Adelaide, you were barracking for us to lose that day. The historical 1990 grand final, Port and Glenelg, front for the last flag. As SA have known it for nearly a hundred years, at the bounce, it's going to be...